Yeah, what's up everyone? Hope you're doing well. I haven't released any videos recently, I've been slacking, I've been a little bit lazy, I was watching some animes. Um, and yeah, I recommend Cyberpunk Edge Runners to everyone, even if you're not into that kind of stuff, it's totally worth it, trust me. Um, but yeah, recently BSG didn't release any updates, we didn't get any content since the beginning of the wipe, and we haven't had any events yet. And lots of people are asking themselves like, yo, what's going on, are we gonna get any content anytime soon? And my biggest bet is going to be that we are about to have a Halloween event at the end of this month. And I'll tell you a bit more. BG is typically very quiet about these things, they don't announce them in advance. So I will be, I'll be the voice. Every single year for the past few wipes, BG were doing a Halloween event. And one of the most memorable things for me is the pumpkin helmet which uh, used to spawn on bosses like Rishala, Gluhar and Killa. And funnily enough, when it spawned on Killa, people were a bit toxic because they couldn't they couldn't complete their um, Killa helmet quest, as if you do find Killa, you kill him and you get the pumpkin helmet from him. And for the quest, you do, you do need the Killa helmet. Duh. And nobody was able to complete the quest. Anyway, yeah, those pumpkins are fun. They, um, they work as a helmet, a level 2 helmet. They cover your head from all the sides. You can't wear any headset uh, with those pumpkin helmets. And they also work as a flashlight. They actually they actually shine with orange light in front of you. So they do help you see better during nighttime. And also BG added a bunch of masks during the past Halloweens. I think right now you can find those on regular scabs in any way, even if it's not Halloween. And there were also a couple of pretty pretty small events, but they were pretty memorable. And I'm gonna talk about them in a second. So one of the events was Cultist uh, Spawn Chance buff. They buffed uh, Cultist Spawn Chance on Factory, it was 100%. Sometimes you can even get two, maybe three groups of Cultists per raid. And it was really fun fighting them and getting the loot. Because Cultists might spawn rare items such as Red, Violet, whatever, key cards, And they're also using a high tier ammunition as well as high tier armor. And it's generally just something, something different, something I enjoyed doing. So I do expect this to happen sometime soon, well, with the Halloween event. And uh, another thing which I want to talk about is a special event which BSG done for the Halloween night. So for the Halloween night, they... <laughs> it's kind of funny seeing three of me on the same screen. So for the Halloween night, they said that at X, uh, X time, something is going to happen. Uh, I think they said on Woods or on any map. Oh, I think they said any map. But basically, if you were in raid during that time, um, people were actually getting cultists, sorry not cultists, usual scavs spawning with pumpkins on their heads across the whole maps and just pushing you as zombies. They were only using uh, knives, I believe. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, like they would literally push you with the knives in their hands, wearing pumpkin heads and doing nothing else. It was kind of fun. It had, it had a small feeling of uh, Call of Duty zombies, if you know what I'm saying. It was really fun to fight them. And the thing after that, which they done, they added Kaltus to reserve, which was incredibly fun. You were able to meet uh, Gluhar, lots of players, and a bunch of cultists. That was actually a lot of freaking fun. Uh, yeah, I could, I, I, I could actually get a whole pile of cultists in the same place. Um, so yeah, even though BG been uh, kind of silent for the past few weeks, uh, I'm pretty sure they're working hard. I want to make a few other videos addressing uh, different issues and different topics, which I'm not going to include in this one. Um, but yeah, I'm really, I'm really waiting for this event. Uh, I have a feeling that this wipe was a little bit... Um, I don't really want to say disappointing, but it kind of was disappointing in terms of content. Because I was expecting Lightkeeper, um, and we did get Light Lighthouse ex uh, expansion, but still no Lightkeeper. Uh, even though uh, Lightkeeper was supposedly... Uh, to be added like eight months ago. We still don't have him. Uh, and I do have a feeling that we won't get Lightkeeper this wipe. BG might be saving him for the next one. Uh, even though lots of people believe that Streets of Tarkov are going to be released uh, next wipe, aka in December. Uh, I don't know if believe so. I don't think Streets of Tarkov are uh, ready yet. And I also think if there is a content manager in BG, the guy would not allow BG to release uh, Lightkeeper and Streets of Tarkov at the same time. That's, that's literally too much content for one patch. Uh, and they're, they're, they're supposed to stretch that content a bit. That's another, that's another argument for that. 
Um, and yeah, I don't want to make this video way too long, just wanted to share my opinion, tell you about the next event, which is supposed to come sometime soon, and uh, hopefully give you more hope about uh, Tarkov for the nearest future. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Twitch, where I stream daily. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.